Alright Caleb, what game are we playing today? We are playing Ice Cool. Or should I say what game are we playing over and over and over again? Ice Cool. <laughs> nice, well, I guess it's kind of obvious. Do you like Ice Cool? I do. <laughs> Why? Because I get to flick penguins around. <laughs> Not too many games you can say that about. Yeah. Well, sweet. Well, what do you do in Ice Cool? What are you trying to accomplish? You are trying to get fish. Okay. And if you get those fish, then you get one of these cards, which have points on them. So There's... you just draw random cards? Yep. There are one value, two value, and three value cards. Okay, so you're trying to collect these fish cards yes. to get the most points at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. But even you getting up there reminds me of something. Is this a stand up or a sit down game? Stand up. <laughs> Why? Because you're always moving around finding different angles to flick penguins. Oh, well then show me how you flick these penguins and who does what. Alright, so to begin, one person is the catcher. Okay. They try to run into other penguins. Say so yellow is the catcher. So he always starts over in that room? Wherever he wants in the red square. Okay. Let's say he starts right there. Alright, and then in order, I want to say it's green, red, and then blue. Okay. So green would go first. He pl For his first turn, he places his penguin on the green, or nice. red, and yellow spot. Okay. And then green player flicks his penguin. Alright, and what are you trying to do? How do you get fish? You go through the doors. So if I did that, I get a fish. Okay. So there's three doors for Green to go through, and once he's gone through them, well, he's collected those cards. Yes. That seems pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of not, because it's always complicated. Try not to bump the table. You can flick a penguin straight. Sometimes it even goes a little wobbly. You can flick a penguin on the side, and it lets it spin a little. Ooh, that was cool. That was. And if you flick it on the head, it can jump. <laughs> Now, if it jumps over a door with its color, does it get a claim it? It does not. Like, okay. if it jumps right here. Yeah, right. Then it doesn't happen. Okay, he's got to go through you the door. you got to go through it. Completely. Yes. And what are the red lines for? The red lines is, let's say when I spun around and I landed right there. Next turn, I get to place my penguin on the red line. Oh, so, so it's easier to flip. If it's outside, you can put it inside. So you can flip it easier. Nice. All right, so after green goes, then... Then red goes. And and let's say he goes spot. right here. Okay. And then blue goes this way. And didn't make and it And did not blue. make it. All right. And then what does yellow do? You said he's a catcher. Which means he runs into people. So, his turn, he can flick the penguin like normal. Oh, barely like missed. So, no, I think oh, he then, barely missed. Okay, what happens if he... Touches a penguin. Yeah, let's say they all went again. Oh, yay. Now, yellow would place his penguin on the red line. And then he flicks it. He hit a penguin. He gets their ID card. Okay, so now yellow has claimed the ID card. So it yes. just keeps going back and forth. The runner's trying to get through the doors. Mm. The catcher trying to catch him. Mm. And how does the catcher get oh, cards? Red just ran into yellow. He gets the ID too. At the end of the round, you get cards for however many fishes you have. Oh, you get cards as you get fishes. Okay. At the end of the round, you get a card if you have an ID card. So. So blue would get one. Blue ended the round with still his own ID card. And then yellow would get three. Because he's got three ID cards. So when does a round end? Either when one penguin gets all their fish off the door, or when the catcher runs into all the penguins. Okay, so you may not get as many cards as possible because the round may end. Yes. That's pretty cool. All right. And then how many rounds do you play? You play however many rounds there are players. Every player gets one turn being the catcher. Nice, and we've had some pretty sweet shots. Yeah, like, it's like, yeah, well, this is the triple door, and he runs into the wall. And then he just accidentally does it, and it goes all the way through and gets two fishes. Nice. Do it. All right, what we call here is the penguin backflip double handspring Olympic event where he goes through three doors and gets a fish. <laughs> or he hits the catcher. But he got my fish. I'll probably hit Jake again. Oh! oh my God. Got him, Bob. <laughs>
Did you get yeah. it? Oh my god! Go <laughs> the fishes! Oh my! So, that being the case, what would you rate Ice Cool? I would probably rate it a 4.87 nice. fish. That many fish. <laughs> fish. Sweet. Sweet. And who do you think this game fish. is good for? Uh, probably little kids, but kids that can actually click the ones. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I'd say uh, we're having as much fun with uh, teens and adults as I would guess little kids. Yep. Just... Oh, nice shot. Oh, wait. I actually forgot one rule. If by any chance, let's say all of Blue's fishes are off, and he's like, Yay! I'm going to end the round here. He ends the round. Okay. Let me do that again. Yay! I'm going to end the round here. Oh, wait. I actually have two ones. Yeah. Like, as a reward for giving low cards, low scoring <laughs> point cards, you flip those over. It's not just. It, you still get the points at the end of the game, it's just you can't use them again. He gets to go again. Oh. <laughs> Let's say he had two more ones. He can go as many times as he wants as long as he has enough ones. Okay, if you flip those over. But then there's a cool thing about the box. So, the size of this, how does it really fit back in the game box? Okay, let's say all the fish are off. It's got pretty cool connector fish, these brown yes. ones. Which I'm going to take connect off. Them together. There's even little areas so you can see where the fish are and where the connector pieces go. Nice. So you connect those. Okay. All the fishes are gone. They have numbers on the side. One, okay. that goes on the bottom. Two. That goes in that. That's four, so this is three. That goes inside of that. Put it this way. Four. That goes there. And then five. That goes right there. Sweet! So then the lid fits right on top of that. So it is, the box itself is the school. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Cool! All That's right, box in a box. Thanks, Caleb. Mm -hmm.